NAD is a very famous molecule. NAD is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's a cofactor that accepts and donates electrons, so it facilitates chemical reactions in the cell. And that's what it was originally described as, something that could accept and donate these electrons, and that's necessary for us to breathe and produce energy to oxidize fuels. Uh, it's necessary for glycolysis, the way we break down sugar, so even if you have this um, anaerobic uh, energy production, like when you exercise to exhaustion and you get lactic acid buildup, that's glycolytic metabolism, that also requires NAD. So without it, you really can't make any energy at all. NAD is the gas, it's like if you uh, take the car analogy. But what hasn't been known is exactly how important NAD is as a link to the progression of aging itself. NAD levels are declining with age, and this is true in multiple tissues. As you age, you have a decline in multiple processes in your body. These are just sort of the basic functions, your cognitive function, your cardiovascular system. Um, and these things start to slowly decline uh, as we get older. By managing or stopping that decline of NED, can you manage all of these age-related conditions? We know the evidence shows that if we can boost NAD, that there's important benefits of that. I started working on NAD metabolism about 14 years ago. We were largely focused on cancer biology, and I started working on an enzyme called glutamine-dependent NAD synthetase, and work on that enzyme led us to the discovery of nicotinamide riboside as a vitamin precursor of NAD. This little compound is a B3 vitamin metabolite that happens to be mission critical to human cellular energy metabolism. NR elevates NAD, it increases the activity of all the sirtuins. Sirtuin genes which have been identified as a link to that aging process, these are kind of like longevity genes if you will. The problem with sirtuins is that they only become activated under certain stresses. You have to starve yourself to get those genes to activate. Nicotinamide riboside happens to be one of those compounds that is necessary to activate those sirtuins. One of the first things you have to do with any sort of therapy is do no harm. And I think nicotinamide riboside has an excellent safety record. Some of these herbal things, I mean, it's not clear. I, you know, some of these extracts are, are actually very complex, they have hundreds of molecules in them, right? NR is different. That creates, I think, very interesting opportunities uh, to promote health span. There is good, very strong science backing it. It's been really exciting because NR has been commercialized and has some real strong potential for improving human health. I think that stands today as really an undisputed fact. Whether it's an animal or a human, if that organism consumes nicotinamide riboside, NAD is going to go up. So I take nicotinamide riboside, you can be sure of that. <laughs> I think that nicotinamide riboside, for example, and keeping NAD levels up could be a component of healthy aging in, in human populations, absolutely.